Hey, my name's Adam, and I want to show you just how easy it can be to make engaging whole class activities using superstructures. So when you log in, you'll click create a structure and select one of our structure types. You can, for example, create a Venn diagram activity where students compare and contrast two or even three topics. You can utilize our debate structure where students will argue for and against or both sides of a given debate question. You can utilize our note board feature, a classic Canvas style activity where students will add notes and organize them collaboratively. You can utilize our spectrum feature where students will take dots to plot and place them on a given spectrum according to where they think they fall within these axes labels. If you want a second axis, you can utilize our dot plot feature where students will take a similar bank of items and place them where they think they should fall on two separate axes. So the teacher, you'll be able to see every student's placement. And then lastly, you can utilize our connect feature, perfect for having students make connections either from prior knowledge or their outside passions to a central topic of focus. Every one of these activities is intended to be extremely easy to create. Let's say, for example, I wanted to create a debate activity. I was a social studies high school teacher. I taught government as well. Maybe let's talk about age limits in U.S. Congress. Should the U.S. government have age limits to serve in Congress? Great question. We might say on the left side will be, yes, we should have age limits. And on the right side, no, we should not have age limits. That's it. Once I create this debate structure, it is immediately available for students to join. They will need to either just go to this URL, you can copy and paste it and share it with them, or have them go to soups.io and type in the code. Once they type in that code, they'll be able to immediately begin contributing to this board. They can pick whichever side they want to contribute to, add their argument, and they'll be able to see their peers' arguments in real time as well. We have automatic filters to prevent students from entering inappropriate comments, but you can, just in case, delete any student response you see fit as the teacher. Students can respond to each other's posts and like them as well. And then as the teacher, you'll be able to enter teacher view, which will give you some more insights about student progress as a whole. You can also edit or set a timer on the activity at any point. Let's take a look at one of the completed activities to get a sense of what that teacher view looks like. So in teacher view, for example, you'll see class progress on this left-hand side, understanding which student contributions earned badges, how many contributions they've made, and then on the bottom, you'll be able to see class insights as well. These are patterns, suggestions for discussions, students to highlight. You can also query soup to ask about anything going on in the activity. That's it. It's the same intended functionality across every single structure. So whereas I went through debate, I could just as easily have gone through Venn, and I'll be given just a few inputs to launch that activity immediately. We can't wait to see what you build. Thank you so much.